wondering, um, I have dyslexia too, and it wasn't diagnosed until college. Oh, I, sorry. Can you hear? Um, so, but I was a pretty big reader, even in elementary school. I just read very slowly. So, you know, whenever I took a, a test. You were dyslexic? Yeah. You read slowly? Yeah. But you were a big reader? But I was big. So I'm wondering, you were writing all these books. Were you a big reader? Okay. Okay. You were a big reader? Yeah. You were just <laughs> I did not read a book until I was 31. I was so intimidated by the words between the covers, and I couldn't um, uh, like focus, and the words would just jump all over the place. I did not read. I, I learned everything by listening. I could learn by my ears, but not by my eyes. And um, now, I read thrillers. I read like Lee Child or um, uh, Vince Flynn, you know, like that. And I love to read, and I mourn the years I didn't read. But in high school, we read um, uh, The Octopus by Frank Norris about the Grange Wars. Everybody wrote in the margins. I don't know what the hell they were writing. <laughs> I wanted to write something in the margins. I took water, and I dripped them over the pages, and the book crinkled up. So when I carried it, it looked like I was... <laughs> Thanks. So, so, but how did you get your kids to be readers, though? Uh, you know what? I, uh, I never... Um, uh, I finally learned this. I never uh, forced my children to read. Uh, my daughter was the last one in her first grade class to learn to read. And at the end of the year, she was the narrator for the play. Mm. You know? Um, I, I understood eventually with Jed when he was, like I told you this morning. This is what I also learned. Max, our young, who, who kept the gel in his resolve. Jed, uh, Max, uh, would listen to the radio or music when he was doing his homework. You know, you're supposed to have a good light and a good chair and a good desk. He stood at his desk, he put his knee on his chair, that was as close as he got, and sometimes did it on his bed. And I finally realized maybe listening to the music was clearing the rest of the world out so he could focus mm -hmm. in, and I learned to just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yes, in the beige. First of all, I want to uh, say... What is your name? Sharon Fennessy. 